Welcome to the warm-up at Upper Scioto Valley. Today's football preview show sponsored by the Kenton Moose Family Center 428. I'm Mark Koontz. Matt Finkel will join us momentarily. But first, we begin with the Rams head coach, Josh Spencer. And, Coach, you, you've been here now a few years. Is it starting to get normal, the routine for you as you come into August and start the season? Yeah, it is. I mean, we're, we're kind of trying to get it figured out and, you know, that the kids are knowing what, what to expect from us and uh, starting to go real smooth. Coming off of a four and six campaign, got off to a great start last year. And once you got into the heart of the NWCC schedule, started to get a little bit more difficult. What did you take away from last year's experience? Last year, the beginning of the season was, it was really great for us. We had a lot of support. Uh, the kids were playing hard and we were healthy. Um, had a couple key injuries. Um, only had 22 kids out last year. Uh, one of our two way better players got hurt. And um, you know, it was tough to compete. You know, you start with 22 and you never got all 22 healthy. And uh, when you're dressing 17, 18, it makes it tough. And, you know, getting into the league play and playing some schools with some better depth, you know, that really had a negative effect on us. Obviously, just about any Division Seven school, one of the big questions every year is how many kids you've got out. And it looks like this year you've got some better numbers out. Yeah, like I said, last year only having 22. Uh, we're around 30 this year. Got a decent size freshman class coming in. And then also uh, a couple kids that didn't play last year decided to come out this year. So numbers-wise, we're much better. Take us uh, through the offense. Uh, what, what can we expect from the Rams offensively this year? Um, we're going to be varied. Um, we want to establish the run like a lot of schools. Um, you know, in the past, we've kind of been a spread team, but um, we want to kind of teach our kids to be a little more physical. So we're going to start with some split back veer running plays. Got a couple uh, good kids in the backfield that are fast, and uh, we'd like to get them to the edge. But we're also going to run some shotgun stuff. And like I said, with our speed, um, we want to spread the defense out a little. But first and foremost, we want to establish the run. Does that speed carry over to the defensive side too? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, everything offense and defense is about speed. And uh, you know, getting those guys in the secondary, make coming up and making plays, and you know, some we got some get big physical guys in the front seven too. So we're excited about what the season holds. What do you think the strength of this year's team is going to be? Depth, depth, and and also experience. You know, we've had to play some young kids, and this year we're able to schedule several JV games, so we're able to get a lot of kids a lot of time on the field. But also, like I said, you know, our skill players. I mean, we've really got some good speed, and, and we're excited to see how that translates onto the football field. Tough opener this year as you guys travel to Ada. What do you need to get accomplished between now and week one against the Bulldogs? Well, I was talking to the kids today and, you know, being the first day helmets and shoulder pads, we were a little bit rusty offensively, you know, actually getting able to go against some guys and get a little physical up front. But definitely we've just got to be able to go in there prepared to play our game. Um, we know the history of Ada, big rivalry between Ada and USV, and um, we're going to have to bring our A game because they're going to be a solid team. But, um, you know, that could be a, a big statement win for us if that if we could make that happen. So we're excited about the challenge. We really are. Obviously, when you talk about Hardin County football, you got Ada and Kenton. Is there some pride though for USV to be able to beat the the Ridgemonts, the Hardin Northerns, that type of school to, to be up in that higher echelon of the the Hardin County schools with Kenton and the Adas? Yeah, it is. I mean, you know, that's a those teams are rivals for us. We haven't played Hardin Northern in several years. Um, the, with them joining the NWCC, they'll be on the schedule next year, and the kids get really hyped up to play them. But you know, we want to keep, continue to move up. I mean, we don't want to be happy in the middle. Um, you know, and this playing Ada this year gives us an opportunity. Um, you know, Kenton would be a pretty big jump for us, <laughs> but you know, baby steps, and, and we're we're again really excited about being able to play Ada again this year. Talking about the NWCC, obviously with Fort Lormie and Layman Catholic coming in last year, it, it raised up the, the level in the NWCC. Is that a good challenge then for the rest of the conference? Yeah, it really is. I mean, both those teams made the playoffs, and uh, that's great for the league. But, you know, you know every going into every year which two teams you have to knock off. I mean, you know, without a doubt, you've got the biggest school in the league, and you've also got the only private school in the league. So, I mean, those two teams are, are always going to be up there. And, um, you know, you like to see the other teams like, you know, us and Waynesfield and Perry and Ridgemont be able to compete with those guys and kind of even the playing field out a little bit. What was the summer like for the Ram program? Uh, the summer was very good. Um, you know, with us having around 30 kids out, we typically had um, – mid-20s in the weight room every day. Uh, the kids have really committed themselves starting from the senior class and down and that's something that we tried to establish as a coaching staff the first year I took over um, and year after year it's improved. So the kids now that are coming in as freshmen 
they just understand this is what expe is expected to be a part of this team. So it, it's getting much better, and we're happy about that. Yeah, obviously that summer conditioning pays off in the fall when you try and keep kids healthy. Good senior class. Uh, you're expecting some good leadership out of those kids? Absolutely, yeah. Um, again, you know, those kids being third year in the program, um, you never know what you're going to get when they come up as freshmen. You know, the changes they make from freshmen to seniors, and you think, man, who's going to step up this year? And you know, inevitably someone does. And we've got a couple guys you're going to see here in a little bit that, you know, that they've really stepped up and taken a leadership role and encouraging each other and encouraging the young kids. And it's not the thing like we're seniors, we're going to beat up on the young kids. It's, you know, we're seniors and we're going to bring everyone up with us. And, and that's good to see as a coach. I know as a coach, you also want to make an impact on your players, not even not only on the field, but off the field as well. Are, are you starting to see that, that impact as you're in your third year here? Yeah, I mean, academically, you know, we really challenge the kids. We do study tables. Um, you know, we want we want kids that are bright on and off the field. And um, the, that leadership happens in the hallways and on the field. And it starts again with our senior class, and they do a really nice job of that. What are the expectations for this year's team? You know, we went my first year, we were one and nine, four and six. Um, you know, we feel like we're in the position now where it's time for us to start competing for a league title. Um, you know, who knows how the season's going to play out with injuries and things like that. But each year, our number one goal is to win the league. And we kind of feel like everything else will take care of itself playoff wise. And, you know, for us, that's such a distant goal. So we've got to kind of take it one step at a time and see where we're at. But obviously winning, you know, it, the winner of this league is going to get a playoff berth. And, you know, we saw that two teams made it last year. And, you know, we feel like that even with our short numbers last year, most of the league teams other than Lormie and Lehman, we were very competitive with. So we feel like, you know, we take that extra step and, and we could be right up there. All right. Thank you very much, Coach Spencer. Rams open up on the road against Ada. The home opener comes in week two against Corey Rawson, a game you'll be able to see on at WOSN. Need to take a break on the warm-up presented by Kenton Moose Family Center 428. When we come back, Matt Finkel will sit down with a couple of those Ram seniors here on WOSN. Welcome back to the warm up presented by Kenton Moose Family Center 428. Got three Rams seniors sitting next to me. It's Dylan Luda right to my left, Spencer Holbrook in the middle, and Connor Shirk on the end. How has camp been going so far for you, Dylan? Well, I feel like camp's gone very well. I've seen a lot of strength out of kids I wouldn't have. Uh, I feel like we've gotten a lot more condition during camp, and I feel like uh, with our offense, I feel like all the plays have been coming together more efficiently. Spencer, this is your third year with Coach Spencer. That's ironic, actually. But how uh, how is it going into the third year? Are things starting to really take shape, and uh, you're used to the to the camp by now. Yeah, everything. Getting into the same program every year, having continuity in the program, and just getting in the same weight room routines and getting everything together. Same time, it's going pretty well. That's great, Connor. On the end, a lot more numbers this year for the team than last year. How does that help make camp and give camp a better atmosphere? I feel like it can give us more of an opportunity to go both ways and show to give our offense and defense a better look on both sides of the ball. Yeah, that's so important, especially early on in camp. Dylan, guys got off to a fast start in 2013. How important is it to get off to another fast start? I feel like that's probably one of the most important things. I know in our scrimmages we were really after it and aggressive, and then after that, after our first two games, it just kind of dropped off, so I feel like that's very important. Spencer. You guys were just finishing up some conditioning drills out there. Is Coach Spencer working hard condition? How important is that going forward? Well, with you know 30 kids, you got to be conditioned, whether you have depth or not. But conditioning's been rough this, this so far, three two a days, and it's been it's sending us home tired. I would be tired as well. And Connor, playing in the NWCC, what does that mean to you to play in in such a competitive conference and and know that your your program is moving in the right direction? I feel like it is showing us how we really can do and uh, just you play great the do you have a rival would you say in the NWCC there's probably a lot of <laughs> all the all the schools yeah. yeah what's your least favorite drill uh I'd have to say bear crawls bear crawls how often do you have to do the bear crawls well we've had to do uh we've had to do them the first two days of two days we had to do those for our final conditioning and I really didn't like it Spencer, what does Coach Spencer expect of you when you step on the field? Um, well, first of all, if you walk at any point, 
he's on you. You do not walk on the football field. You hustle on the field, hustle off the field. When he blows that whistle, you have to be ready. When he expects crisp huddles, hustle to the line, defense and offense, get in the huddle, get tight, make sure that everything is perfect. And that's the way it should be on the football field. I'd like to thank our guests, Dylan, Spencer, and Connor. Time for a break on the warm-up, but when we come back, three more Rams will join us here on WOSN. Third and final down here on the warm-up, presented by Ken and Moose Family, Four, Family Center 428. Three more seniors here for the Rams. George Bauer to my left, Zach Reisner in the middle, and Wyatt Bischoff on the end. George, we'll start with you. You're running back in strong safety. What can we expect out of the offense, especially on the ground this season? Coach Spencer mentioned that he wanted to establish that ground game. Uh, you can expect a lot of speed. I think we have a very fast uh, backfield. Also, we have a lot of depth, so we have a lot of backs to choose from. So I think we're very strong in that aspect. Zach, you'll be opening up some of those holes for him at fullback. How's the camaraderie between the backfield come so far in camp? Um, well, we have a lot of backs, so we got a lot of depth. So we just, I, I don't know. <laughs> You've been working hard together, and it yeah. seems like it's been paying off early on. Wyatt, on the end, you're on the line, both offensive and defensive. Which side do you prefer to play better, on the offensive side or the defensive side? Uh, I'd say defense because I just like just pursuing yeah. that football, right? Oh, yeah. So what can we expect on the defensive side for USV this season? Uh, I think we're pretty strong up front. We have a lot of intensity, pretty strong. You guys open week one at Ada. That should be a pretty tough challenge. They were a good team last year. What do you expect uh, when you get ready for a matchup with Ada? Uh, I can say that you'd expect a good game. We're both going to – both teams are really good, so we'll just see what happens. Zach then, you get, Zach, then you get three straight home games. That should be nice to be able to establish a little consistency at home and, and really try to get off to that good start that you got off to last year. Yeah, we like playing at home. We don't want anyone coming to our house and beating us, and we just go hard the whole time. Why? what's your favorite thing about playing for Coach Spencer? Oh, that's a tough one. If you had uh, to I choose. I like how intense our practices is. We all fire each other up real well. He gets us going. And what's the work ethic like in camp? It seems like just observing that it's it's very tight and you guys are working hard all the time. Is there no time for slacking off, right? I like to think that we're a family, so we don't want to let each other down, so we'll always work hard. And Zach, what's one thing that football has taught you that you'll take with you after you're done playing for USV? Um, just never give up and stay close to your friends and just go hard all the time, no matter, no matter what you do. All good life lessons learned here on the football field. That does it for this edition of the warm-up presented by Kenton Moose Family Center 428. For Mark Coons, we'd like to thank all of our guests, and we'll see you next time on WOSN. <laughs>